In the, in the case of Cardano, really, we had uh, ADA coming off the, the lower trend line of the symmetrical triangle back on, on the 21st and, and um, the tw sorry, on the 20th and the 21st. Uh, the rebound was about 11% on the 21st, which, you know, considering the hype behind the token, you would think that it could do a lot better. It did close above the upper half of the daily range, which I guess you could take a positive and it did close above the 200 days full moving average. But upside traction from there really has been limited. And you'll also note that volume on that 11% day was above the 50 day average, but it surely wasn't a sign of impulsiveness or commitment and emotion. So that is a little bit of a yellow flag for me when it comes to, to Cardano at this point. Uh, really on the upside, you know, you're, I guess you could you could be free to test this this uh, descending trend line of the symmetrical triangle, maybe the 50 day, and then of course the dominant 2018 high at one spot three nine. I mean, really, that's still the governing level for me on the upside. I personally see no reason to really, unless you're a, a short term swing trader or maybe a, a day trader. I personally don't see reason to own. Cardano at this point, uh, I wouldn't do anything until we see price back above one spot three nine. It just seems like there's a lot of volatility associated with with Cardano in this area here, as you can see. So I would stick with being patient in terms of the long side. On the downside, the 200 day might offer support, then of course the the lower trend line of the symmetrical triangle. But downside probably will be limited as well to this area. Started with that includes the 61.8% retracement of of the 2000. Sorry, of the from the 2020 to the 2021 rally. Uh, it could extend down into this area here, which is spot eight eight. Uh, but that would be the maximum area. This this price congestion here will be formidable support uh, for Cardano. So at this point, uh, you know, I would I would rather use our pullbacks into the lower trend line of the symmetrical triangle as an entry point rather than buying now off here and then use the stops down in here uh, or add if you are a more aggressive trader. That's all. Hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, back to the usual all coins. Uh, there is a sell signal from the momentum reversal indicator, uh, and which, which kind of coincides uh, with this resistance level that we just broke, and now we're back below it again, which is at one point two, one point two dollars. Right. Uh, what's interesting about this move here is that we kind of swept the highs with this particular candle. Well, I wouldn't. It isn't that great. So I'm expecting a retracement or pull back down to this level, but I don't want to, you know, kind of play it a little too safe and then lose out because my orders didn't get filled. So I'm going to go, I'm going to probably place, place my order somewhere here at 1.12 or a little higher. Yeah, actually, so the reason why I kept it here is because of the swing lows here, right? So I can I could either place my orders here or here, uh, but typically I'm looking at card enterprise to sweep the highs here at 1.37. But if I'm being a little too optimistic, uh, it could I could place my take profits here at 1.40 or 1.50. Although I don't think this is going to happen, it's not realistic. So let me just bring it down to this. As for my stop losses, seems reasonable. Yeah, right. Uh, this is what I'm looking at. Uh, approximately a, a, a three percent pullback, and then a twenty percent, twenty twenty percent upswing. From an on-chain perspective, this looks impossible due to the cluster of out of the money investors here, uh, both from a higher time frame and a lower time frame, right? It's it feels like there's a lot of resistance at one point three four, which comes around a little, a little below my take profit level one point three four. 
But yeah, I'm unsure if Cardano is actually going to make it, uh, if it's going to reclaim its uh, Rebel coin title. So it's a good coin to keep an eye out for. It's interesting to, to note that that uh, you said around 134 was there was heavy resistance. Yeah, the arbitrage mm -hmm. 134, that, that is just above the, the upper trend line of the symmetrical triangle. So any attempted breakout from there looks like it's going to be met with some heavy resistance. Nice confluence. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything else for Cardano except for these uh, massive resistance. Uh, that's probably going to prevent its upswing uh, beyond 1.37. But up to 1.37, I think we should be good. A 20% upswing. 